Okay, hello everyone, Victor Momo from Excel Moments and indeed it's been a moment. This is the continuation of the solution series to Excel BI's LinkedIn challenges. Like I've said in previous videos, if you are not following the Excel BI LinkedIn page, you should if you want to boost your Excel formula, in fact, your overall Excel game. This is challenge 334 and we're talking about amicable numbers. Right, and from a data set standpoint, we have you know just these two columns, okay? The other two columns are the results. So you have numbers in column A, you have numbers in column B, and you'll be taking them in pairs, but let's read the problem definition. It says list the amicable numbers, okay? A pair of numbers are amicable if the sum of the proper divisors of either one is equal to the other. Let's explain this in a way that you understand. So let me take these two numbers, 1184 and you know one two one zero so what he's saying here is that if you list all the proper divisors of one one eight four proper divisors here are numbers that when one one eight four is divided by it gives you a remainder of zero okay so if you list all the proper divisors of one one eight four and you add them up together it should give you one two one zero okay and it means that if you also list all the proper divisors of one two one zero and you add them up together it should give you one one eight four so one of the two you don't need to perform both calculations once one is true you know and that's fine it means that both numbers are amicable that's you know the idea here okay so how do we go about this it's simple we need to first of all list all the numbers that we'll be considering right which somebody is thinking will be from one all the way to the number but if you think about it a little harder, you realize that you don't need to go all the way to the number. The highest number that is perfectly divisible by 1184 is, you know, half of 1184. Okay? Any number above that would definitely not have a remainder of zero. It would have a remainder. So the highest number you can have that is perfectly divisible by 1184 is halfway. So what we need to do is just create a sequence of numbers. And instead of creating a sequence of numbers from 1 to 1184, we are going all the way to what 1184 divided by 2. Let's leave the discussion of even or odd numbers for now. Okay? So that's that. So you can see we have 1 all the way to you know midpoint now the next thing you want to test is oh is it divisible right is this divisible you know by this and then what's the remainder because you want to get the remainder you really just use a mod function so take mod take this number and divide it by what all these numbers right so and you see the remainders so everywhere you have a zero it means it's perfectly divisible everywhere you don't have a zero then it has a remainder so now we are interested in the sum of the numbers that are perfectly divisible a simple way you can do it here is just take the numbers control backspace brings you back and multiply it by a test of whether this is actually equals to zero so what you're just doing here is you're just trying to create a true or false so wherever it is equal to zero meaning it's perfectly divisible you get a true when you multiply by the number that's just like saying the number multiplied by one the number returns itself right and anywhere it's not divisible by what uh the number which means it won't give you a zero here you have a false and when you multiply by the number it gives you a zero you're just trying to create a distinction between the numbers you need and the ones you don't need as you can see everywhere you have zero here right you can see the numbers repeat anywhere that is non-zero like this it gives you a zero so you can sum up this you know you just do a sum okay so if you sum this it gives you one two one zero you can see that so one one eight four gives you one two one zero let's change this to one two one zero and let's see what it gives us over there okay you see one two one zero gives us one one eight four so once you do it from one side and you can see that the sum of the proper devices of one gives you the other you know basically then you have an amicable number so that's the idea and that's what we're going to apply to all the numbers in the range so let's get in here and let's just um you know create that formula but in you know one cell like i typically would like to do so what i'm going to do is i'm going to perform the exact calculations i just did you know using multiple cells in one cell and apply it to each of these numbers so the transformation is the same the only thing is that you're kind of creating like an iteration going from row to row performing the calculation on each of the numbers and checking the results so it means i can use a map function right so map is just saying take everything in this range you know element by element and perform the calculation or transformation i'm going to give you here so now i pull up a lambda and i create a variable that variable like i always describe is just like an iterator that variable starts up with the first value which is b2 it performs the calculation it stores the results 
then x becomes b3. It performs the calculation, it stores the result, then x becomes b4, and so on and so forth. So what is the calculation we really want to do? It's the same thing. The first thing we did was to create a sequence, you know, from 1 to the midpoint of that number. So I need to do like what? A sequence of what? x over 2. Because in this case, x is my number, like 1184. Now, because I know that I'm going to use this more than once, I can just make this a variable. So that's introducing, you know, a let. Okay? So I'm just going to, sorry about that. Just put a let and just say a let, maybe p, b you know, sequence x over 2. So it means anywhere you see p, I'm referring to, you know, um, all the numbers there, 1, 2, 3, all the way to the midpoint. So what do we now do with this? We basically do that calculation that I did on the other side, which is what? You take the numbers themselves, which will be p, and you multiply it by, you know, you do the mod. Mod is just checking when you divide the number by, you know, that supposed divisor. Is it equals to 0? This is basically what we did on the other side. So here, any number that is a proper divisor will be zero, and this will return you true. Then you multiply by the number, which just means the number is being returned. And anywhere it's not a proper divisor, it will return a zero on this end. I mean, a false when you evaluate this. So the result becomes a zero. Then you add everything together. That's basically what we did at the other side. This is just maybe <laughs> much shorter and much confusing. Okay, so close this. Close the let, close the lambda, and close the map. Okay? So, these are all your answers. Right. So, you have performed the calculations on, you know, the uh, values in B2 to B10. So, what you are just going to do now is you are just going to compare. Are these numbers equal to the numbers in column A? Right? You could have done it the opposite way too, which is, you know, get the sum for the numbers in A and then compare if they are equal to B. So, at this point, I can just compare, you know, A2 to A10, you know, with what I have in here right so everywhere they are the same you know it gives you true and every other place it gives you false if you feed this into a filter you know then you basically have what you want right so you're just going to filter you know the entire range which is the same thing filter this you know based on true or false so everywhere is true there are makeable numbers everywhere it isn't and that's really what it is so this extracts for you the list as you can see here you know of numbers that are makeable meaning that the sum of divisors of the first would give you the second and vice versa so if you like this video please hit the like button you can also subscribe to the channel excel moments uh, please Pass comments, you know, give me feedback. I would incorporate them into the next video and I really appreciate those of you who endure me and continue to watch my videos. So, <laughs> I say thank you very much for now. I'm out.